Uh, bara la Afrika kwa upande wake nafasi yake uh, sio kubwa sana kwa upande wa Donald Trump ukizingatia sera yake ambayo ina inafanya kwamba kipombele cha kwanza kiwe wananchi wa Marekani na Amerika kwa ujumla. Thank you very much General I appreciate it and I'm greatly honored to host this lunch to be joined by the leaders of Cote d'Ivoire, Ethiopia, Ghana, Guinea, Nambia, Nigeria, Senegal, Uganda, and South Africa. In particular, I want to thank President Conde, who is representing the African Union. Thank you. In this room, I see partners for promoting prosperity and peace on a range of economic, humanitarian, and security issues. We hope to extend our economic partnerships with countries who are committed to self-reliance and to fostering opportunities for job creation in both Africa and the United States. Kwa hiyo kwa sisi Africa ambao labda tulikuwa tunategemea chochote kutoka Marekani misaada au msaada wote ambao unatoka Marekani tusitarajie kwamba Donald Trump anaweza akawa mtu sahihi wa kutoa hiyo misaada. Tunaweza tunachoweza kutarajia kwa Donald Trump labda kama tukitaka kufanya biashara ambayo ni ni, ni, ni tunasema ni biashara ambayo yenye umizania sawa kwamba tufanya biashara lakini sio swala la kutegemea misaada mfano na mashaka na misaada kwa mfano tuna misaada kama USAID zile ambazo mara nyingi zinatoka zinakuja kwa nchi za Afrika kusaidia miradi mbalimbali kwa hiyo nina mashaka kidogo kuhusu namna ambavyo serikali ya Trump itaendelea kufanya hiyo misaada au inaweza ikasitisha hiyo misaada lakini nafikiri kama itatoka hiyo misaada itatoka kwa masharti makali ambayo sizani kama tutakuwa tayari kuyapokea lakini kitu kingine pia ambacho uh, dunia nyi, upande mwingine wa dunia anapaswa kufahamu kuhusu Donald Trump ni sera yake kuelekea China sera yake yeye Donald Trump kwa upande wake anamona China kama adui yake namba moja kwenye masuala ya ukuu wa Amerika Uh, tunafahamu kwamba uh, tunakoelekea sasa hivi ni kwamba uh, China inaelekea kuwa na uchumi ambao unaikipiza Marekani na China inafanya biashara na nchi nyingi sana ambazo zamani zilikuwa zinafanya na nchi ya Marekani. Kwa hiyo ku ku Donald Trump yeye ameifanya China kama adui yake namba moja katika upande huo wa uchumi. Kwa hiyo vita vyake vya kiuchumi atapambana sana na Uchina asasa kuhusiana na bidhaa za bidhaa za China ambazo zinaingia Marekani. Mfano kuna hizi mitandao kama TikTok na simu mbalimbali na vitu vingi kutoka China ambavyo vinaingia Marekani. Kwa hiyo sera ambayo atapambana nayo sana hasa sasa nchi ya China lakini pia upande mwingine tutarajie kwamba kutakuwa na, na, na ukizani mkali kati ya bwana Donald Trump na Kim Jong Un rais wa taifa la Korea Kaskazini ni, 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 ni vitu ambavyo ni mabishano au ni ni, 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 taf, ni tafrani na turugushane ambazo watu wengine walikuwa wameimisi mpambano mkali kati ya bwana Kim Jong Un na rais John Donald Trump na sasa hasa hivi sasa ukizingatia jinsi ambavyo rais uh, wa, wa, wa Kim Jong Un alivyokuwa karibu zaidi na rais wa Russia sasa fikiria hawa ni marafiki Donald Trump na 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 na, na bwana 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 Putin so maadui hivyo lakini pia ukiangalia jinsi ambavyo bwana Kim Jong Un amekaa karibu na na na, na, na bwana Putin kwa hiyo utaona jinsi ambavyo uh, kuna mabadiliko makubwa sana katika mwelekeo wa siasa za kidunia hasa hasa baada ya kushinda kwa rais Africa has tremendous business potential I have so many friends going to your countries trying to get rich I congratulate you. They're spending a lot of money. But it does. It has a tremendous business potential and representing huge amounts of uh, different markets and for American firms it's really become a place that they have to go that they want to go. Six of the world's 10 fastest growing economies are in Africa. Increasing American trade and investment across diverse industries including agriculture energy transportation healthcare travel and tourism will further transform lives throughout the continent secretary tillerson and the us millennium challenge corporation are already considering an investment worth hundreds of millions of dollars in cote d'ivoire which has made impressive economic reforms really done a tremendous job we also hope that african firms like the company Sasol 
consider making investments in the United States. Sasol, as an example, is building a $9 billion petrochemical plant in Louisiana, which will bring new jobs to the state, and really hardworking Americans will be manning those jobs. But we cannot have prosperity if we're not healthy. We will continue our partnership on critical health initiatives. Uganda has made incredible strides in the battle against HIV-AIDS. In Guinea and Nigeria, you fought a horrifying Ebola outbreak. Nambia's health system is increasingly self-sufficient. My Secretary of Health and Human Services will be traveling to Africa to promote our global health security agenda. Yet, we know that our prosperity depends, above all, on peace.